Well, these healing services are part of uh, the diocese's response to what Pope Francis called uh, last year for a year of mercy. And uh, there are several parts to that, but this fit right into uh, the response that we wanted to have as a church to those who have been uh, wounded and uh, harmed within the church through child sexual abuse. And uh, we felt like the occasion was tailor-made for uh, a response to, first of all, acknowledge forthrightly uh, those who have been wounded, uh, but also to invite anyone, whether they've been harmed within or without, outside the church, uh, to come together in prayer and uh, to uh, pray together for healing. and. Uh, um, also, it's been an occasion for me as well as the leader of the church, as the bishop, uh, to uh, publicly repent uh, of, of the past uh, sins of others and the harm that's been caused and uh, to invite those who um, are still in need of healing uh, to begin the process, to, to take a step and, um, and to do that with, with the help of God and the help of others. People here for different reasons. Um, it's, there are certainly people that come who have been wounded. Um, again, not only within the church, but they've been wounded sexually outside in other, other, other situations. I think there are a lot of people here that are just normal, regular, everyday parishioners that want to take part in uh, something positive and just join others in prayer and enter into sort of a solidarity with, uh, with those who have been hurt. Um, so there are people that come for a variety of reasons, um, but the overwhelming response and has been positive and uh, it's touched people, helped people. Um, it's, it's, a way to, it's a way to do something uh, and to do something positive and to do it in, with a connection to bringing God into our lives.